grampian. Thou hast, in our youth and our age, but as it were, an after-dinner sleep, dreaming of both. Here I am, an old man, in a dry month, being read to by a boy waiting for rain. I was neither at the hot gates, nor fought in the warm rain, nor knee-deep in the salt marsh, heaving a cutlass, bitten by flies, fought. My house is a decayed house, and the Jew squats on the window sill, the owner, spawned in some estaminate of Antwerp, blistered in Brussels, patched and peeled in London, the goat coughs at night in the field overhead. Rocks, moss, stone crop, iron, birds. The woman keeps the kitchen, makes tea, sneezes at evening, poking the peevish gutter. I, an old man, a dull head among windy spaces, signs are taken for wonders. We would see a sign, the word, within a word, unable to speak a word, swaddled with darkness, in the juvescence of the year, came Christ the tiger. In depraved May, dogwood and chestnut, flowering Judas, to be eaten, to be divided, to be drunk, among whisperers, by Mr. Silvero. With a cr caressing hands at the Mogus, who walked all night in the next room, by Hakagawa, bowing among the titans, by Madame de Conquist in the dark room, shifting the candles, Fraulein von Kolp, who turned the hall, one hand on the door, vacant shuttles, we the wind, I have no ghosts, an old man in a draughty home, house under a windy knob, after such knowledge, what forgiveness? Think now history has many cunning passages, contrived corridors, and issues, deceives with whispering ambitions, guides us by vanities. Think now, she gives when our attention is distracted, and what she gives, gives with such supple confusions that the giving vanishes the craving, gives too late. What's not believed in, or if still believed, in memory only. Reconsidered passion gives too soon in weak hands. What's thought can be dispensed with, till the refusal propagates a fear. Think, neither fear nor courage saves us. Unnatural vices are fathered by our heroism. Virtues are forced upon us by our impudent crimes. These tears are shaken from the wrath-bearing tree. The tiger springs in the new year. Us he devours. Think at last we have not reached conclusion when I stiffen in a rented house. Think at last I have not made this show purposely, and it is not by any consultation of the backward devils. I would meet you upon this honestly, that I was near your heart, was removed therefrom to lose beauty in terror, terror in inquisition. I have lost my passion. Why should I need to keep it, since what is kept must be adulterated? I have lost my sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. How should I use them for your closer con? These, with a thousand small deliberations, protract the profit of their chilled delirium, excite the membrane when the sense is cooled, pungent sauces multiply variety. In a wilderness of mirrors, 
What will the spider do? Suspend its operations? Will the weevil delay? De Elhak, Frasca, Miss Camel, world beyond the circuit of the shuddering bear, and fractured atoms, gull against the wind, in the windy straits, a bella isle, a running on the horn, white feathers in the snow, the gulf claims, and, and an old man driven by the trains to a sleepy corner, tenants of the house, thoughts of a dry brain and a dry season. Now, some people have taken issue with this poem. Now, just because there's certain things said about a type of character in a piece of art, or period, doesn't mean they're saying that all individuals of that group are as such. And Well, we can refer to the whole Jesus thing as an egregor. Tigers represent different things, but um, fear is definitely one of them. But people who wouldn't be considered worthy are feeding off that fear. <laughs>